we are very nearly recovering to the 2019 levels. There's uh, still uh, roughly 12% uh, to go, and we think that in uh, 2024 we will have uh, engineered this full recovery to the pre-pandemic level. This recovery to 2019 levels, uh, as good news as that is, still means that we are short of where we would have been had we followed the pre-pandemic forecast. So that relative impairment is likely to stay with us for yet uh, quite a few uh, years to come. We are facing uh, quite a, a lot of severe headwinds. Uh, first of all, the global economy is slowing down in terms of growth, even if it remains uh, lukewarm, shall we say. We have seen uh, very large increases in uh, our costs uh, across all types of costs, notably, of course, for our industry, labor costs and uh, jet fuel costs, which together represent about half of our cost base. The global economy is also impaired still from the COVID experience and we have supply chain issues and many other issues, war in Ukraine, uh, and uh, all of this adds up to a, a, a pretty daunting uh, outlook, I think, uh, in spite of the relative good news that we are presenting here. In 2020, you know, when activity just absolutely stopped all of a sudden, we uh, as an industry uh, had uh, suffered the historic loss of almost 140 billion US dollars. And uh, today we think uh, that the industry will deliver a profit of nearly 10 billion dollars for 2023. So we've gone from minus 140 to plus 10 in the space of three years, I think that's an absolutely phenomenal performance. Nevertheless, though, it has to be said that, uh, that the 10 billion profit it remains a slim one. Our, these are net profits. Our net profit margin remains slim at 1.2%. And in actual fact, if we di divide this by the number of passengers, uh, our profit forecast amounts to only $2.25 per passenger. Not even half a cup of coffee in Geneva where I live.